Hello guys and welcome to my very quick, simple and easy guide to adding a background image on Dawn theme and probably all Shopify themes at this point. So the basic idea here is that we want everything to have one background image. So you can use something like a pattern or rain, for example. So let's get a nice picture of rain. And we'll just write rain JPEG like that, or actually let's do PNG so that it's um, something like this. Yeah. So let's say we want to add rain to our website. Okay, this is just an example, obviously. Let's actually add this one. I prefer this one. So we are going, let's say we're selling water or, you know, water bottles or whatever it might be. So we want to add some, I just got, I just got uh, destroyed. <laughs> uh, how do I download this? There we go. Okay. So this is just an example. It's not ever going to be uploaded to a real Shopify store. So I don't really care that I don't have permission to use this. I'm literally just using it as an example. So now that we have the image we want to use, we want to go on our Shopify backend. We want to go to files and we want to upload that file. Of course, I can't drag and drop. That would just be too easy. Okay, there we go. So this will take a little bit of time. Uh, we'll just patiently wait for it. It should be appearing now. Okay, so once we've got here, I've got this bit of code here. Don't worry if you're not a coder, I'm gonna leave this in the description. All you wanna do is you wanna click here where it says copy link and you wanna highlight this link here and you just wanna press control V. It will say, uh, just delete the end part of that. For some reason it takes it as a variant of a product. I've got no idea why. Uh, when you click here for some reason, it gives you a variant. I don't really know why, but anyway. So we've got this nice code here. All we're going to do is we're going to click on online store or themes here. And we're going to click on these three little buttons and click on edit code. We're then going to type in base here and we're going to open up base.css. We're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to click here and we're going to press like that. We're just going to copy and paste it. I have no idea what this is going to look like. I hope this looks good. There we go. Perfect. So you can see it's got like an entire effect. Now the PNG hasn't worked, so it'd probably be best to do a JPEG with a white screen, but you can see that everything has been covered. So it kind of bleeds into each other really, really nicely. I love this effect. I've always loved this effect. Make sure everything's readable, etc., etc. I think I'm going to add this to my actual Shopify store at some point. I'm just looking at a couple of these. I actually think I wanted to scroll. So I'm going to do background attachment scroll. And then when I refresh this, this should look even cooler. It should almost be like it's raining. Yeah, I don't think that changed anything. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know what changing the scroll did there. I don't know what happened. I don't know if anything cool happened. But yeah, you can play around with this for yourselves. If you want to know the other options, then you can just go on Google and type in um, oops. Uh, like background image W3 schools and then CSS background image property. If you click on here, it should give you all the different options available. So. We have conic gradient, linear gradient, repeating gradient, etc., etc. I don't really know what all of these mean. And there should be color as well, and you can basically change it. It looks like you can use a GIF as well. Um, so this would it, it would definitely be worth playing around with if you don't quite like the look on your store. Then you can definitely play around with the options and see if you can change anything. I'm just going to very quickly add um, a rain JPEG with a white background or maybe even a blue background like that. Let's try and see what this looks like. I'm just curious uh, if this looks better or worse. So we'll do the exact same process. We'll click on settings, click on files, upload files. There we go. That should be super, super quick. Three, two, one. I have a feeling this is going to look really, really nice. I have a good feeling about this. 
If click on edit code again. Let's open base, so you can just wish base is already open in this case. And highlight the current image, press control V, and then delete the variant. It's done it again. I really I don't know what the hell Shopify is doing. An important thing to know is you, if the code is wrong, the colors will be wrong. So I know that the, this is all right because it's all purple. It's all the same color. Let's see what this looks like. I like it, honestly. Uh, one thing that I don't like is the repeat. So we're going to do background um, image repeat. No. I don't actually know if that's right, guys. So let me just quickly, <laughs> let me just quickly check if that's correct. No, uh, it looks like it's background repeat, not image repeat. So we'll do background repeat. No, that should work now. Let's have a quick look. Doesn't work for some reason. Obviously, you have to write no repeats for some bizarre reason that I will never understand. <laughs> In programming, honestly, it's like they want everything to be as complicated as possible, so they have to be paid to do it. It's still not working. I have no explanation why. It looks kind of awful like that. It would be a lot better if it wasn't repeating. I've literally written the word back background incorrectly. <laughs> That's probably why it's not working. Okay, there we go. I'm 99.999% sure that is now going to work. It's still not working. Okay, it does work, but it just looks terrible because the image is too small. So if you if you want to do this, you need a really, really big image, but you get the idea, guys. Yeah, look here, background size cover. This is what we want. This might look terrible because of the image quality, but this should stretch the image across the entire uh, thing. Okay, it's not working, I think, just because the image is uh, just not good enough. But you can see, yeah, the image is too small. If the image was bigger, you could see that this would work. But make sure that you play around with these different things. W3 Schools is amazing. Even if you're not a coder, you can just work it out for yourselves. Like, you can just change these colors, change the um, cover or whatever it might be. Make sure you're using a big image if you want it to cover the entire screen. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I preferred this one if it actually had a transparent background. I think it would look really, really nice. So I think a nice kind of mild effect with a um, PNG transparent background is probably the effect that I'm going to be using on my own store. This is not my own store. This is just a practice store that I use um, to make these videos. I will say now that I think uh, this was actually best. Oh, it already has background size. That's why. Let's just try, I just want to very quickly try this because it seemed like cover was the one that I needed to use. Yeah, now the image is just too small so you can see the quality is gone. But yeah, that's going to be it for this, guys. Having a little experiment with this. I hope this helps. If you want to just do it to your header as well, sorry, I will just quickly mention this. You can do it um, by looking for your header in base CSS. So here you would just put the same code and then if you wanted to do your footer, it would be in footer.css, I think. Yes. For some reason, footer has a separate one, so you'll just put it probably at the bottom of this. I'm not going to go into details in this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Look out for the end of this video. There's going to be a playlist full of tutorials just like this, which means you never have to pay for a Shopify developer. Thanks for watching and peace out.